Hello, this is Alex Kazmark for the FXEdge.com, and this is the free daily Forex video for September 8, 2009. One reminder before I begin, the purpose of this free daily video is education and not an alert service. I'm not going to make any trade recommendations, but what I am going to do is point out levels of support and resistance for the next 12 to 24 hours. Please keep in mind that trading with leverage is very risky, so please don't trade any real money until you've established a proven track record of success on a demo account. Trading conditions are always changing, so make sure to watch tomorrow's video to stay updated. Good morning, everyone. Uh, we saw a quite mixed reaction overnight. Markets were pretty quiet, aside from a few pairs. Uh, dollar remained mixed. Uh, we saw much better than expected German factory orders data, which helped push the euro a little bit higher. We're going to watch specifically New Zealand and Aussie data uh, out tomorrow and Thursday to see if the recent breakouts have uh, more room to run. First up, we are looking at the euro dollar on the daily, currently trading at 143.33. We're going to see first area of resistance at 143.50, followed by 144 and 144.50. First area of support for the euro is going to be found at 143, 142.20, 141.80, and 141.34. We should see quite a bit of volatility today as the U.S. session as the, excuse me, as the U.S. markets come back uh, after a long holiday weekend, and uh, it's going to be interesting, interesting to see how, how and where we go from here. So uh, definitely expecting uh, today to uh, to show us some sort some sort of a sign in in regards to a direction. As you can see, we've been in this range for quite some time now with the breakouts to the downside and the upside. So no clear signal no clear trend no clear direction let's go ahead and take a look at pound dollar currently trading at 163.50 pound was mixed overnight as you can see we had a run to the upside but it closed lower first area of resistance for the pound is going to be found at 163.80 followed by 164.20 164.54, 166, and 166.20. First area of support for the pound is going to be found at 163.30. Excuse me, make this 163.20. Followed by 162.80, 162.34, 161.50, and 161.10. Next up is dollar yen, currently at 93.05. Dollar continued to gain a little bit of ground against the yen. Uh, I believe this is still uh, coming from the equity markets. Uh, there's really no uh, dollar significant move here other than a flight to safety. And uh, as the equity markets go higher, we'll see dollar appreciate. First area of support is going to be found at 92.80, followed by 91.80, 90.90, 90, and 89.80. First area of resistance is going to be found at yesterday's high at 93.27, followed by 93.80, 94.50, and 95 even. Uh, again, I've mentioned over the last few days that we are keeping an eye on the equity markets to guide us on this pair. As of now, uh, again, we still don't have a clear sign of direction. Uh, perhaps we'll now break lower to the downside, breaking below this pivot low. Uh, very difficult to say as it really depends on the equity markets as people continue to predict that the equities are going to sell off. We're still waiting for that to happen, at least waiting for the Dow to go below 9,000. Uh, this is some sort of a, a sign that that will eventually happen. It's just a matter of time. There's a lot of pressure on the dollar, a lot of pressure on the markets. Uh, yet the markets remain resilient. Um, so we'll have to see what happens this week, uh, specifically today as the U.S. comes back from a long holiday weekend. Next up is the dollar Swissy, currently trading at 106 even. First area of resistance is going to be found at 106.30. Uh, it's going to be in this range, as you can see, we opened and closed around this area, 106.30. Had quite a run up to 107 over 
two days ago and uh, are still headed lower so we might see room to the downside so first area of resistance for the dollar is at 106.30 followed by 106.50 106.80 and 107 above that we have 107.40 dollar will find support at 105.80 followed by 105.50 and 105.27 uh, this is very key here as you can see we've had a lot of wicks up and down between the 105 and the 107 range still somewhere in the middle we're waiting for a breakout to the upside or to the downside as of now too early to say we'll continue to monitor economic data out this week and uh, look forward to any trading uh, possibilities and if you'd like to hear about our trade opportunities please join us in the members section this has been alex kasmark for the fxedge.com free daily forex video for September 8th, 2009. Until tomorrow, everybody, happy trading.